Episode 1 The Complete and Shocking Truth of Slenderman Ever wondered how the Slenderman came to be? There are so many questions about this horrifying, thin, and lanky urban legend. What do we really know about him? For our first episode, we will talk about the horrendous truth of Slenderman. Who is the Slenderman? What is the origin and history of the Slenderman? And how Slenderman became the urban legend of the century? We will explore the Slender Man's past, present, and future. So if you're into discovering the mystifying truth, make sure to listen to the very end, and together we will uncover the story of the Slender Man. The story of the Slender Man started out as just a meme. On June 8, 2009, a competition on the comedy forum called Something Awful asked its members for a modern myth that would terrify people. A user under the name Victor Surge responded by posting two photographs from back in the 1980s showing a thin, lanky, and faceless figure lurking behind groups of children. From the very beginning, it was only intended as a meme. Slender Man is depicted as a pale, skinny figure as tall as anywhere from 6 to 15 feet, who wears a black suit, has a blank face, and fingers longer and bonier than any typical human. It's said that Slender Man behaves in a passive yet aggressive manner, and he is extremely adaptive and able to blend into shadowy environments. Typically, he would lurk behind children, making friends with them, then selecting his victims from among the innocent. Once his target was selected, he would stalk them for many years, getting into their heads and mentally torturing them, using fear and paranoia to drive them to insanity sometimes causing an illness coined the slender sickness, where his unfortunate victims would suffer nosebleeds, crazy nightmares, dangerous hallucinations, and extreme nausea, and all the while he would be watching their suffering from afar. Once the children become adults, he attacks them, impaling them on tall trees, leading to a bloody and gruesome death. He then would remove their organs, placing them in plastic bags before returning them into their cold corpse. His murderous sprees always took place in abandoned areas, cemeteries, and his all-time favorite, the deep dark forest. It was also claimed that Slender Man had special abilities and could stretch and shorten his tentacle-like arms to capture and kill his victims. He also has an odd effect on electronic equipment causing massive static interference on both video and audio devices. They say once your electronics start acting weird, that's when he's watching you. This malevolent creature caused an uproar on the internet. The Slender Man's character's very design was intriguing because of its blank face. A mystery many wanted to figure out. It was never really understood why his face was blank, or why he looked human and understood human social interactions but never acted like one himself, or that he had no soul, and why he was so attracted to the morbid curiosity of children, messing up his innocent victims first mentally, then physically, and finally, eternally. It's so dark and mysterious, and that is why the internet loves it. Just like telling scary stories around the campfire, it was morbid, scary, and had so many variations, depending on the storyteller. One story portrayed the Slender Man as a misunderstood protagonist that was blamed for all sorts of mischief. Another said that Slender Man's blank face was a vague depiction of stories from the past, and yet another said that he brainwashed children so he could eat them. Part of the appeal and success of the Slender Man story is that it's highly collaborative in nature. Because the character's motives are shrouded in mystery, it opens many possibilities for internet users to tap into their minds and creatively fill in the blanks. From that original meme, tons of movies, blogs, poems, forums, fan pages, YouTube videos, and video games have been produced in Slenderman's fandom. Needless to say, Slenderman quickly became the internet's favorite monster. However, Slenderman's stardom became short-lived and parents across the United States became concerned and alarmed for the safety of their children. With almost 30 million people in the United States, including kids under 10 years old watching Slender Man and fearing the evil being, some children began doing the unthinkable. On May 31st, 
2014, two 12-year-old girls from Waukesha, Wisconsin, held down and stabbed another 12-year-old classmate 19 times while calling on the slender man's name. After the investigation, the two girls claimed they wished to commit the murder as first step to becoming proxies for the slender man after they had read about him online. Both girls stated they feared the slender man would have killed their families if they had not committed the crime. One even reported that he stalked her in the night, especially as she slept. Another incident occurred on September 2nd, 2014, when a 14 year old girl from Port Ritchie, Florida allegedly set her house on fire while her mother and nine year old brother were still inside. Police reported that the teenage girl had been drowning herself in Slender Man stories and she felt compelled to do it for the Slender Man. In 2015, there were several reported suicide attempts in children aged from 12 to 14 years old in the United States, with many stating it was due to the influence of the Slender Man that they felt compelled to do it after reading about him. Even a 27-year-old man almost killed his wife after watching and reading about the Slender Man. These real-life stories were so alarming, and the legend garnered so much negative attention, with both young and mature people committing murder and suicide, all in the name of Slender Man, that what had begun as simply a creepy horror meme became a horrifying reality. The majority of the original blogs have been shut down in an attempt to keep more youngsters from reading them and repeating the horrible deeds that had been done. Although the Slender Man was formally introduced to the world through the internet in June of 2009, there's no confirmed history, but it seems the basis of the legend has existed for centuries. Truth is, there have been many folklores and myths depicting the very same description of the Slender Man all around the globe. Historically, this lanky figure took on the appearance of the Der Groben, also known as the Tall Man, in Germany. In the British Isles, Slenderman depicts the same characteristics as the Scottish fur dub, a malevolent entity with a tall, lanky figure and blank face that haunts the forest at night. In North England, the Clutchbone is a seven-foot lanky monster from 18th century folklore. In Russia, the same lanky Slenderman figure appeared in the 20th century. So what do you think? Is the Slenderman just a meme that got out of control? Or does this monster truly exist? Here's a little note. Even as old as 9000 BC, a strange and elongated creature that led a child by the hand was found within the cave paintings of Northeast Brazil. Thanks for listening to Greybeard's Jewels, a step into the unknown. That'll do it for today's episode. Thanks for listening.